On-demand storm tracker forecast time, Chief Meteorologist Mike Hurd checking out the increasing wildfire smoke with the strengthening west-southwest flow as we head into the early morning hours on Thursday. Butte to Dillon could be horrible, but it could stretch out from Butte to Bozeman as well. Now that may ease a little bit, but I'm expecting thicker wildfire smoke Thursday and into Friday with increasing thunderstorm activity which will also bring in a new fire threat. So there's some concern here. As monsoonal moisture lifts up and over the top of a high pressure ridge, we're gonna see erratic winds, we're gonna see lightning. Hopefully some thunderstorms will have some brief heavy rain, but uh, this is not a pattern that we like to see this time of the year because there could be a mix of dry and wet thunderstorms, but more and more lightning likely. And some of these thunderstorms begin Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday evening. And in fact, could spill over into the overnight hours between Butte, Dillon, Bozeman, and Annis. So there could be a few rumbles first thing tomorrow morning. Slight break as you look in the mid morning, but late afternoon, here they come again. Thunderstorms rumbling across the area late afternoon through the early evening hours. Then a slight little break and this whole pattern recycles again as we head into Friday afternoon and into Saturday afternoon as well. So a lot of off and on thunderstorm activity will encompass much of the viewing area. Not everyone's gonna see thunderstorms, but it definitely brings slightly cooler temperatures as you look at the next seven days for Butte. But again, even though we got partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies, there will be some late afternoon to early evening thunderstorms Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. A lesser chance as you head into early next week. For Bozeman, isolated thunderstorms are possible but it's just a small part of the day. It's not all day. So most of the time you're gonna be looking at partly cloudy skies and some gusty winds and temperatures still flirting around 90 degrees until we get into the weekend. The numbers come down slightly. For Dillon, a few rumbles are possible Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. 80s to low 90s for daytime highs and West Yellowstone. Slightly higher probability of picking up some of these isolated scattered thunderstorms Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, but cooler highs and lows are scheduled by the weekend.